a nylon rope used by mountaineers elongates 1.10 meter under the weight of a 65 kilogram climber if the rope is 45 meter in length and 7 millimeter in diameter what is the young's modulus for nylon so in this problem the first thing given here is the elongation that is l naught equal to 1.10 uh, meter and originally uh, that is this is not l naught but change in the length which is elongation okay the original length of this rope is 45 meters so l naught uh, change in l uh, length can be represented by delta l and uh, original length which is 45.0 meter so this is length so see here this is a mountain climber so rope let's say this is a rope 45.0 uh, meter and here is the climber mountain climber he is using this rope and because of his weight 65 kilogram of mass mass of this climber is given 65.0 kilogram uh, diameter is also given the diameter of this rope if i little bit elongate this uh, i mean uh, uh, make figure of this string exaggerated figure uh, it's very thin but i can show it so diameter is given the diameter is this distance okay so diameter d is given here which is 7.0 millimeter and if i wrote down in uh, meter it will be 7.0 times 10 to the power minus 3 meter to make unit consistent so I need radius so I can divide this diameter by 2 to get radius which will be 3.5 times 10 to the power minus 3 meter this is radius of uh, uh, this is string this rope okay so these are things given we have uh, our goal is to find the Young's modulus what is the Young's modulus of this string uh, first of all we need area so i i'm gonna to calculate uh, area equal to pi r square uh, pi is 3.14 radius of this rope is right here so i can write down 3.5 times 10 to the power minus 3 squared so this let me calculate this one 3.14 uh which is value of pi times 3.5 times 10 to the power minus 3 squared so this is tentatively giving me 3.85 times uh 10 to the power 5 negative 5 meter square so this is the area this is area of that is cross-sectional area okay i need the area of cross-section of this wire this wire the cross-sectional area means area of this portion right this circular so the formula is pi r squared uh, once i have area i have uh, original length of the string right here and uh, change in length which is elongation i need one more thing to calculate young's modulus which is the force acting on the rope and the force can be obtained from m f equal to mg because mass m mass of the uh, climber is hang on the string so mass multiplied by gravity will give you um, the weight and it will be uh, if i calculate this value which is 65 uh, point times 9.8 so uh, this is giving me 600 37 newton uh, 600 600 uh, let me write it down here which is equal to 600 uh, sorry 637 newton okay 
so i have force applied this is perpendicular force right so this is the rope and uh, look at here this rope the force is acting perpendicular to right here so now i have formula for young's modulus young's modulus is simply stretch divided by strain and what is stress stress is force perpendicular divided by area whole divided by change in length divided by original length if i simplify this formula uh, i will get something like um, young smaller modulus y equal to f perpendicular l naught original length divided by area of cross section and change in length so this is my formula Putting all values in uh, this equation, uh, 637, uh, and then the length of the rope is 45 meter. Let me see. Also, the value of uh, 45. The original length of this string was 45. So I can write down 45 meter, and then divided by so what is area area i just get it from here which is 3.85 10 to the power negative 5 3.85 times 10 to the power negative 5 and, uh, and there is change in length which is uh, how much is change in length uh, change in length was 1.1 meter right 1.10 meter so uh so this is my young's modulus now only thing is just put in calculator and get the final value of this young's modulus so uh let me see putting in calculator i'm calculating just wait a minute i will be getting answer soon uh uh let me calculate calculate here and I'm getting the value of Young's modulus which is uh, 6.76 times 10 to the power 8 Newton per meter square also we can say uh, 6.76 times 10 to the power 8 Pascal okay uh, because the strain is unit less physical quantity and only you know, physical quantity having unit is uh, in this formula is a stress and a stress has same formula like uh, same unit like uh, pressure so this is a pascal so this is unit of young's modulus y